Hey, hey, Taylor. Hey, Melissa. Um, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I have a couple of questions I wanted to ask you. Sure. Uh, I saw on social media that you mentioned there is a document that contains all of the information about the different education initiatives um, that have been happening in the Wikimedia movement around the world. And I started looking into it, but I am not sure how to use it. And I was wondering if you could help me with that. Sure, that's a good question, Melissa. Uh, do you know where you can find education mapping exercise document? Mm, I have an idea, but uh, maybe you can help me with that. I will share my screen so that you can sure. tell me exactly where to go. Mm, give me one second. OK, can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. So you have to go to outreach.wikimedia.org where we have portal for education and glam and you can find resources related to education and glam projects there mm -hmm. yes okay oh i see glam education so, so I click on education. you can click on education or you can go to the search box oh okay so here you can find resources related to education but you can also go to the search box mm -hmm. And type EMP. Like that? EMP. EMP, e Education oh. Mapping Project, M. Uh -huh. Click. No, no. Just click on <laughs> EMP. Yeah. Oh, so there we go. This is the mapping Exercise Project. You can read yeah. about the mapping exercise project, how we started the project. And to find resources that you are looking for, you can click on the link below the icon that says find who is doing what in the education movement. Do you see that like icon? There's the a left. link you can this click. One. This one? Uh, yeah. So yeah, you just go down, there's a link to there. Just go a bit down. Yeah, that, that one. OK. Oh, OK, I see. That, yes. I can. So here you can. So here you can find uh, different activities from our movement, uh, from different countries and different volunteers. Do you have any questions? Related to the mapping database? Yes. Yeah. Um, for starters, I can see that this is already a lot of information. And I am interested in very specific things. Um, so, how can I, for example, um, find a specific activities that happened in one country? Um, I am interested, especially in finding the activities, the Wikimedia education activities that happen in Ghana. Sure. So as you know, the current form or the current database is in is on mm -hmm. uh, Google spreadsheet. You just have to uh, you just have to type control F to find activity and look for Nigeria. If there were any uh, activity related to uh, any activity happened in Nigeria, you can easily access that. We also have newsletter articles and other media files to help you know where, uh, what was your activity about. Okay, so I'm gonna start looking for things from Ghana first. Uh, let's see, okay, so I see there's one of 13 mentions of Ghana. There's here one. Mm -hmm. Okay, two, three. Oh, okay. And I see they are kind of organized by country, right? Yes. Okay, so I can see all of these activities. So I 
happened in Ghana, the description. Why is there some information missing, Silas? So that's also a challenge for us, uh, Melissa, because we know that the education, Wikimedia, Wikimedians started doing education activities from a long time. The current, uh, like the oldest one in the mapping uh, database we have is from 2005. And they have used different places to document their work. And while we were doing, while we were looking for documents to create this database, there was some information missing from, from them. So we couldn't find those data. And if you find something, if you are working on a project and you you have idea where when it started, who was the person who started it, you can give us a feedback in that form and we will we'll be happy to update that. Okay. Yeah, I just did a quick search about Peru, but I don't see any activities from Wikimedia Peru Wikimedians of Peru listed here. And I'm pretty sure there were some education activities. If I find the information about these education activities, how can I include that in this spreadsheet? That's a good question again. Uh, and we are sorry that we're missing data from Peru. We had very limited time to work on this project. And as I said, there were so many places these activities were documented. Uh, it, was, it was really hard for us to find, uh, uh, go, it was really hard for us to go through all those platforms and add data into this. So you can you can go to the same page on Outreach Wiki. Mm -hmm. OK. So as you see that there's another icon which says add your activity, you can click on that. Uh -huh. so that will take you to a Google form. We have given all the instructions that you need uh, while filling this form. Uh, the form will only take you about uh, five to 10 minutes, but we will have your data uh, on the mapping exercise document, which will help anyone from around the world to know what are the activities you are doing. And maybe they can take an, uh, like they can use that as an example to do, uh, do that work in their country. I hope I was able to explain you well. Yes, Elish, this was very helpful. I I have it. Uh, it is more clear for me now how to find the information about the Wikimedia education activities in this spreadsheet, and that I can use this other option to include some other Wikimedia education initiatives that are missing from your from your um, from the spreadsheet. Do you know what what reminds me of now? Like we are organizing an editathon for mapping exercise from December 10th till December 28th. Uh, you can be part of it and add the missing data from Peru to that. Uh, oh. And also share among with your friends. Awesome. Will you have, be available during those days to answer any questions or help me with, uh, with anything? Yes. You can always reach out to me uh, on my talk page or write to me an, an email for that. OK, excellent. Well, this was very helpful, Silesh. Thank you so much. Thank you, Melissa.